WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White, on TFNN. And, of course, as we speak, um, we got pretty much what uh, I was looking for. I thought we'd bounce uh, into the close yesterday. Didn't get that. So we bounced uh, right at the open, actually, pre-market. It looked like a house of cards in the newsletter this morning. I wanted to uh, go short sh uh, shortly after the open. And looking around at 38 uh, 50 or so uh, for support on the S&P cash and yeah, we're up a little bit above that at the moment but there's just not a lot of reasons to get too excited now uh, mostly for uh, a few other reasons as uh, you know we're starting to get a little hint of maybe some action uh, because of the midterm elections but that's probably more of an issue for Thursday um, many short positions are massively concentrated. We don't have a lot. In fact, one of the reasons why I was fairly bearish at the open today was the incredibly low put-call uh, VIX ratio. Almost always when you have a very, very light out-of-the-money uh, put position, uh, you get a gap down, if not the, the day after, two days after. It's almost like... Uh, looking at your watch and just knowing it's going to happen um, when everybody's on one side of the fence. Uh, and, of course, uh, now we probably don't have a lot. We're a little back and forth. Um, volume will really start to uh, decrease uh, into the close today. Maybe you get a little bit of volume in the morning, and that will be on uh, earnings uh, as uh, – after the bell uh, tonight, we've got AMD. So maybe some semis going. Uh, again, I would worry about the super high concentrations of stocks that uh, are coming up for earnings. Um, I looked at one this morning for a subscriber, and uh, it was Camping World. I didn't think about it. Ten days to cover, and earnings coming up. Be careful what you're short. Anyway, uh, we got a show coming up, so just a few minutes. So uh, we'll be on with that. The reality is that navigating financial markets can.